Welcome to Cook and Bake with Samer during our Alaska cruise in the city of Skagway in Alaska. I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about what we had originally planned and uh, what ended up uh, occurring because of what I had. We are in Skagway today. It's gorgeous out here. And since I'm not able to leave the ship, so I spent the day here. Uh, camera crew went into town a little bit. We had originally planned uh, an excursion here in Skagway. We were really looking forward to it, but you know, things happen. And uh, because of what I have, the COVID that I got, we don't know if I got before, during, or on the, on the plane, we don't know. Uh, we had planned the, uh, the White Pass Railroad and Klondike Highway combination multilingual. That's the name. It was about, with the discount at the time, it was about $220 per person, including taxes and everything. But that is an excursion that would have taken you into the mountains, into Canada, on a bus. And the bus is like the size of those rental... Uh, car company rentals that pick you up in the airport so it's not like a huge bus and then you would come back on a train so that was the special part of we're planning for Skagway and these are some of the photos and videos from Skagway taken by the camera crew you can see how beautiful the city is with its surroundings the mountains the snow Since we couldn't show you Skagway, I thought I would show you part of the departure from Skagway, these beautiful mountains, the beautiful scenery, it's like you're looking at a postcard or a painting. Uh, and it's amazing, it's, it's very relaxing, uh, even though I was in the room, you know, had the balcony, uh, enjoyed a lot of the views, uh, the sailing. And I don't know here, I was zooming in, maybe trying to find a, a bear or something. But uh, as you know from my cooking, if you follow me there, I like to explain and show uh, a lot of things that have just shown few things and, and say, okay, there, that's what you do there. But there are other things that you can, if you didn't want to do anything around the ship, or if you couldn't, there are many other things that you can enjoy viewing and relaxing as you are sailing uh, the these canals and these areas uh, in Alaska getting to your next destination and videos and pictures really don't do it justice for what you see and what you feel when you're out there still cruising in the sky different rock formations down to the bottom of these hills. I really need to research how long have they been here, how old are they. Then I saw this flying bird 
flying with us and next to us so I decided to turn on the video I don't know if this is called the, the, the straits or I think from the captain said it was the straits oh here's a little bird a seagull or someone flying with us There we go. Look at that. It's me moving. <laughs> well, I need some very here. If you have binoculars, I use the binoculars. It, it seems a lot more than my camera, than my phone camera. It's amazing. Different things you don't see in our part of town. Those rocks over there again. is nice it's not I mean we're, I'm dressed warm I'm dressed in layers and it's in the 50s a little windy but I don't feel it because I'm all covered up which that's what it's, that's what it's all about being in Alaska you cover up you wear the right clothes and you enjoy the whole view you don't you don't feel the cold seconds ago I have no idea what I said something about the boat I just don't remember the exact words that I said but it's boat related so many different waterfalls coming from the and then that that in the in the long term that's what forms the rocks it's all the calcium deposits in that waterfall that forms all these rocks on the bottom and that's how all the, also the caverns form around the world. Mm -hmm. That's where the water is being. Yeah. The water is so nice and clear too. Just a cool mountain view, beautiful. I think as we are leaving on our way to uh, Hubbard Glacier, it looks this looks like another glacier here. As we are leaving uh, Skagway. Sure does. I wonder which one this is. Nice. It's like little islands over here. And the whole way is just a beautiful scenery. We were on the left side of the ship, or you know, as it's going forward, if you're facing it from the back, it's the left side. Well, you can see the 
how the ship is moving. I know they say if you're on the other side, it's better going up, but I really haven't noticed much difference. There's a small area where you're only seeing water, but there wasn't much of that. The rest was we were always, I don't know what that over there is, but there's always something that you're watching. Beautiful view, beautiful mountains, beautiful forests, and uh, the balcony is really worth it. We got you know, for the views where you're able to stay in your room if you needed to. Otherwise, you can do it from inside the ship. Then we saw this small ship or yacht. But then look at the beautiful mountains that you see with all those clouds. Um, you want greenery, you want mountains, you want snow. You want clouds going through the mountains. It's just amazing. This is the ship that for that comes from, this is the ship that comes from Seattle. sure if this is uh, Anthem of the Seas or Quantum of the Seas. They are the same class ships, but uh, we saw them cruising by. This is the view from inside the state room, if I'm just sitting down. Um, don't forget to subscribe, click that button, uh, and we'll see you in or at Hubbard Glacier.